today's Halloween project is mushroom. I have never done anything mushroom themed, so this will be a brand new one for me. So let's dig through the license plates and tin cans and see what we can come up with. I'm going to do the classic red and white mushroom. I couldn't find a lot that was a large amount of red. I might have to work with this or even this flower is a pretty good am amount. It's not quite the red I would want, but we'll see. Turned around and found a good piece of red. Perfect. <laughs> this should be a good size pendant. So the dots won't have to be very large, and I'm going to hand cut those so I have a little more organic feel. I don't want them all pristine circles like this. Looks like I need one or two more. And if you're wondering, what are those amazing scissors I'm using? They are Joyce Chen kitchen shears. So you can find them in kitchen supply shops. They are awesome. Hmm. This little die was sitting here on the bench top. It's kind of like a mushroom too. I wonder if I could turn him into a mushroom. Running a little low on sterling silver right now, so I'm going to use brass. And actually, I think the brass color looks really nice with the red and white. So I don't think that's a bad thing. Question now is do I want this to be bezel set? In which case, I should make the bezel and solder it down first before cutting the brass circle. Actually, I'm going to tab it, and then that will give me a nice little kind of scalloped pattern around the edge. And then we don't have to solder brass, because I really hate soldering brass. Okay, that's what we're going to do. I did not think a step ahead when I cut out my little white polka dots. I should have drilled the holes for my nail rivets because now I'm going to have to tape all these little pieces down to a block of wood to hold them in place so I can drill. Ugh, I hate it when I do that. I decided it wasn't such a bad thing that I forgot to drill those holes in the white dots because I am just going to cover this thing with packing tape and cut everything out and drill the holes. That way I get all layers at one time. So that turned out alright after all.
a little polka dot sterling chain and then I went in and added a little brass disc to tie in the brass in the mushroom. And there's week two of Mab's Drawloween challenge for the month of October. Doing good so far. We've done the two weeks that we had planned on doing. This was Mushroom was the prompt. So that's pretty different for me. I like the little dots. The texture is really cool. So maybe I can incorporate that somehow into some of my other pieces. But thanks for hanging out and seeing what I made this week.